What's going on there, guys? We're back with another one, and today we have Dwight Howard coming out and addressing these rumors. Now, he spoke up, you know, recently on social media, and he had a lot to say to his critics. And, you know, he, he addressed these allegations, but he didn't run from the fact that, you know, he likes dudes. Um, he said, you know, that's what he does, and don't worry about who in his bed. He said people that worry about that type of stuff is low vibration people. That's, so Dwight is really coming at people strong right now and letting them know, man, look, don't worry about what I do. Let's check out what he had to say. Y'all can stop with the nonsense. Worry about all this bullshit crap. Mind your business. Why they say you going on dates with dudes, bro? Why the hell do you or anybody care who the hell I spend my time with? That's the problem with y'all people. Y'all worrying about who people spend their time with. Whatever I'm doing in my bedroom is my damn business. Whatever you doing in your bedroom is your damn business. That ain't for everybody. And everybody don't need to know. You ain't got to say anything about what you're doing in your fucking house. It's your house. You ain't got to explain that to nobody. No matter what they say, they can say anything. Who gives two shits? Y'all too damn nosy worried about what I'm doing in my bed. Hell, the people who know what's going on in my bed, they know what the hell going on with my bed and what the hell I do in it. That ain't for everybody on the internet. That ain't for no blogs. That ain't for no websites. I don't got to tell nobody where I put my wood at since y'all want to get to it. That ain't nobody business where I put my shit at. Y'all just weird. If you want to know what people doing in their bedroom and who they messing with and sleeping with, you are weird. You're the weird one. Oh, shoot. Y'all heard about that, Dwight? They said Dwight was in a oh, text message and a guy. Nigga, who cares? Who cares who I was text messaging? You just mad because I want text messaging. Yo, ugly that's what it is. Worrying about the wrong stuff. Focus on you. Worrying about who in somebody's bed and what they doing in their own bedroom. It ain't your bed. You ain't gonna never get in my bed. So stop worrying about it. Worrying about because I don't gotta deny it. I don't gotta talk about none of that crap. The shit didn't even happen. You worry about the wrong stuff. That's why it's called an accusation. Allegedly. Come on, man. <laughs> Y'all yeah, worry about the wrong stuff. Somebody's messing with. Oh, I'm positive. You ain't got to worry about that. I'm not. Listen, I know. I know. I ain't mad. I listen, people think I'm mad because I'm saying all this. People just be talking. This is the type of world we live in. You can't stop. You're going to get hate and you're going to get love. Everybody not going to hate you. And everybody not going to love you. That's just the way it is. <clears throat> you ain't got to worry about that. People is going to talk. People is going to say what they want to say because they miserable with their own little life. Ain't nobody that's got anything positive or speak positivity. They would never say or do anything to hurt or endanger anyone. Only people would do that is people who have a negative mindset or they operate in lower vibration. People who think positive and who have good things going on for themselves, they don't get online and talk about people. They don't they don't try to hurt people, they don't try to bash people. They don't do that stuff. The people who do that is the people who ain't doing nothing. And those people won't be around. How do I cope with my mental health? How do I cope with my mental health? Um, oh, I find me time. I get time to myself. I get time to meditate, journal, write down my thoughts. And the other thing I do for my mental, my mental health is, um, yeah, that is true. Every time I do something, yeah, you're right. 
Am I fighting demons? Uh, what I think all of us fight our lower self. And for you to get up on here and say, I'm fighting demons, maybe you need to look in the mirror and see what you got going on and fight them demons that you got. Everybody got to focus on they self. Yes, I ground every day. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Dwight, Dwight, Dwight. <laughs> now, this this is where I'm going to start. Before I talk about Dwight, before we talk about your Anything disclaimers, your disclaimers, Dwight. Dwight. <laughs> where is he going? I don't know what kind of disclaimer this was. This, this disclaimers is crazy. Be careful. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. We got to stop telling people, I don't care what you do on your own time. Because <laughs> we do care. We Cam, Cam is lying if he tell you. He, yo, I, I don't care what you do on your own time. And then stat follows up. And women, you got to stop. For real, put the camera on me. For real. We got to stop telling niggas what you do in your own personal time has nothing to do with me. It does, my nigga. If you, if you caught. Come on, man. Yeah, it, it does matter. It does matter. That those are the lies that are going on in society. We tell people it don't matter, but behind your back it matters. Yo. And that's what we gotta first oh, start off by saying. Like you hear you hear stats saying this. Because what people do in their bedroom, that's between them. <laughs> Not necessarily true, but I understand. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> Is that, you, you get what I'm saying? Because you telling them it don't matter. But then it does matter. And anybody watching this knows it does matter. Even to people <laughs> that participate, it matters. Because people will say, oh, it don't matter. And as soon as they find out, they out they're out in them. So it matters. Yeah. You know, oh, and when it comes shit, down to making like money off the story, yeah. it matters. When it comes down to who dating you is going to matter. When it comes down to it, we're going to... Look at Cam. But it's good to Cam on Cam. When it comes down to if you're going to be in the locker room with them, it matters. Because there's about 30 teams that did not sign Dwight Howard because it matters. So let, let's dispel that. That's the first thing we got to dispel. The second thing is that is consensual. It's never consensual if you surprise somebody. <laughs> you say, you say it's consensual. It's a surprise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, this is, and um, I don't be meaning to laugh. Sometimes I make myself laugh, but it's not funny. But it is funny. Stupid, man. Yo, he said it's consensual. <laughs> so just, uh, just think, you're somewhere, you're with somebody, and somebody walk out of the side door with a leprechaun outfit on. It's not longer consensual. Yo. It's yo, not man. consensual. Yo, yo, it's, it's not consensual. Y'all want me to keep? <laughs> y'all want me to keep going? Because this is this makes sense. It makes sense, but people be lying, and folks can't get help if y'all lie. So that's not oh, consensual. <laughs> consensual is agreeing beforehand on what's going to happen. If it's not agreed to beforehand, it's not consensual. Young guys need to know this. Young ladies need to know this. It's not consensual if it's not agreed to beforehand. To put somebody on the spot and say, oh, it's consensual. No, it doesn't. Consensual doesn't work like that. Like growing up, I met a girl at the club. I tell her, listen, I only do the first night. If we got to wait, I can't do it. 
because I don't got time like that. <laughs> Tomorrow ain't promise. You know, I've changed since then a little bit, but that's where I am. bring that nigga back outside. <laughs> Yo, bring that nigga back. I miss that nigga. <laughs> Tomorrow is not promise. I miss that nigga. It's man. tonight only. It's tonight Yo. only. So this seems like Dwight Howard is coming back at Cameron and Mace, you know, in their platform. As I stated before, Cameron said that. You know, Dwight DM'd them and was trying to get his story over to them, and Cam kind of passed on it. And Mace went on the show today and said, look, what you do behind closed doors ain't necessarily uh, just your business. It affects everybody. You know, I mean, especially when it comes out this type of way, and you're denying it, and you're saying all kinds of different misleading things, and it's an ongoing investigation. People are going to look into that to see if someone was harmed in the process and Dwight is saying don't worry about how I do what I do I just do what I do and I don't know man let me know what you guys think about all this in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe to next time peace